Yo, what's good, guys? Prince Jamaica here, and today I'm gonna be making an Afro beat with some household equipment or some how household utensils. So this is basically stuff that are in my house. I'm gonna be using, and to start, I have this bottle. I'm gonna be using this. Then I have this shaker. I'm gonna use it as my shaker. I don't know how the beat is gonna sound, but maybe I'm not gonna use it. But I have this as my shakers. Then I have this roller i'm also gonna use these I'm gonna have some scissors and then i have this fork so basically i'm gonna be trying to make an afro beat drum using these stuff which is you know in everybody's house so if you're new here and you're yet to subscribe kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so when i post you get to know you don't want to miss out on these amazing amazing videos so without further ado let's get into our DAW and start creating and um let's see what we're gonna achieve yep so i'm i'm set i'm ready and um before i start i think i'm just gonna bring my tempo to around 108 i think i i need something of that yeah i think i'm okay with the speed so first off i'm gonna try recording um this bottle i'm just gonna use the bottle and um and this fork to kind of tap so i'm gonna my metronome is turned on already so i'm just gonna record record that so audio into audio as an audio clip so let's record that yeah so i actually recorded quite a few like about four of it so i'm just gonna go to my um edit sample go to my edison and just try to pick which I feel is nice to me. So let's listen. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pick this last one, just select it, make sure that it's the only one selected. Yeah, and I'm just gonna drag that to my channel rack. And with this, I'm just gonna normalize it, turn on use loop point and just try to make it. Yeah, so we have this now. So quickly, the first one I'm going to create, my first pattern, I'm going to call this bottle. Play a normal Afro bounce. So I'm okay with this. Then next, I'm going to record this roller. So this roller, I'm actually just going to play the same way I just, I played um, with the bottle and just try to pick which sound I prefer among it. So let's record that then okay so i'm actually just recording a few to see which is gonna sound nice that i'm gonna pick from so i'm just gonna also go there right click edit edit sample yeah i think i'm let's go with this i think i'm always picking the last one yeah drag this also to my channel rack and um i don't know how i'm gonna achieve getting my kick but if i don't get my kick i'm just gonna pick a normal kick so with this i'm just gonna play the same thing i'm gonna pitch it down so that it's, it's heavy yeah so have this now then next i'm gonna record my scissors yeah, I'm going to record this. So um, let's quickly record that. Yep. So drag this also to my channel rack. Just, yeah, we have that. So quickly, let's just and just bring it down so we have something heavy. Yeah. Yeah, so we already have a bounce. So next is this my shaker. Let me try and see if I'm gonna record this and see if I like what comes of it. But I think let me just let me just try it now and see what we get.
yeah okay so let's see what what this sounds like so i think it's a bit fast let me just try to stretch it a little bit just a little bit so just use my eq turn it and let me turn off my So basically i have like a base of what i want so i'm just gonna add some more more percussions just like i think just to give it rim shot so let's call this rim so basically we already have like a nice a nice groove going just basically starting with what's in my house, you know. Yeah, so we have um have like let me just turn off the shaker first. Just leave. So guys, if you can suggest what I can use as my kick, like a household equipment I can use as my kick. But I tried getting one, I could not. So I'm just going to drag in, just go look for some nice kick and just bring them in. I'm going to be using Vesh, Vesh Beat Pack, Vesh Beat Drop, this amazing pack called um, Timeless. Like that pack is crazy. You can go check out that pack. It has some nice one shot. So I'm just going to go there and get like a nice kick, a nice one shot kick. Yeah, I love this kick. It's going to give me exactly what I want. So for my kick, and I'm um, just... Yeah, so we have this. I'm just gonna add some shaker loop just to give it that more more work. Yeah. Yeah, so we have nice a nice bounce. So next I'm gonna play some code. I'm gonna bring in my um analog lab. So um let's go to recently play some good vibes. So I'm just gonna try to play something and see what we could come up with. Yeah, so I have that recorded and let me just drag that out. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to quickly convert it to wave. Yeah, so I have my keys. I have this i have this um vocal sample from from skim z shout out to skim z we have this nice vocal sample which i'm just gonna bring in and um work with so um let's stretch that out I'm gonna bring in my bass. I'm so I'm gonna be trying sub boom bass for this, and let's see what we get from sub boom bass. Yeah. 
yeah, so I, I, let's, let's, let's work with that. I'm just gonna bring it down, add my EQ. So I have on that base, on that base I'm gonna use. Yeah, so basically just experimenting and I just decided to create something using stuff in my house and you know we have it, we have it, we have a nice vibe. Yeah, so let me just drag this so for our intro we can have this started like this so let me find some drum fields Yep, so contact is loaded and I'm just quickly gonna bring in um Excel, Excel and just try to play some chord with Excel. Yeah, so I have that. Um, let's see if we, we got that. Yeah. I'm just gonna make it shorter. I think I prefer the shorter version. Then I'm gonna load on that instance of contact and just try to give it some vocal, like from vocal samples, just to sweeten it up to make it nice. So I'm um, let's see contact. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use that.
I'm just gonna give you some swing. Let's say a swing of around 15%. So you can see how very easy it is when you're feeling not inspired, just carry the the stuff in your house. You could easily just you know create a vibe. So we have from our intro. to subscribe can you hit the subscribe button you know turn on the bell notification so when i post you get to know you don't want to missing out on this amazing amazing videos tutorials are going to be coming back to back to back and i'm sure you guys are benefiting from this thank you guys for watching and if you have any question if you have any suggestion let me know in the comment section and i'm sure gonna work on them thank you guys and you know peace